Timmy Tech TV's coverage of PAX Prime 2014 brought to you in part by AMD Gaming Evolved and the all-new R9 285. Make your competition green with envy. Hey guys, Timmy Tech TV here at PAX 14. We are checking out Universal Sandbox 2. Universe Sandbox. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about what it is, why you guys are here, and uh, why it looks so awesome. Thanks. Yeah, uh, Universe Sandbox is a the, is a project that I started working on about seven years ago, the original, and then the sequel has been in development for the last three years, and uh, it's because gravity and the universe are just are more amazing than we ever realized they could be, and making a, a, a tool to make that interactive and inter, uh, uh, allow users to explore, the, yeah, this is the awesome reality of the universe is uh, is I don't know, super exciting to me. So, so uh, what? What are some of the cool things you can do with this? Because I've seen a sun blow up so far, yeah, but... So yeah, you collide two suns and you get a supernova. That supernova actually emits energy to the other planets uh, melting their surface. Uh, you can bombard the moon with asteroids, leaving craters. You can uh, drop the moon into the Earth, make the water boils off. You can move the Earth next to the sun, uh, get rid of the atmosphere, actually melt away the atmosphere from the heat of the sun. Um, yeah, you can also do simplistic climate simulations on the Earth. So you can actually see the sea ice and snow cover grow and recede because of the seasons. But then like you change the tilt of the earth and actually affect the climate. So it's uh, yeah, so we have a, an astronomer on the team, a climate scientist, a dedicated physics programmer. So it's uh, this kind of realistic yet but hopefully intuitive uh, way of interacting with reality. So what are some of the I guess the games that you played when you were younger that may have fed into some of this? Oh, uh, well, Sim Earth, way back in the day, uh, and they're just Sim, Sim games in general, so Sim City is super cool. Um, uh, but yeah, just like, uh, oh, good question. Uh, I, don't know, and I, I saw, I mean, like, gosh, middle school, my dad downloaded this, like, really simple gravity simulator, and I was kind of mesmerized by it, but there, was, there weren't enough options. And, um, and so, like, I... I don't know, every five years, I've kind of like started working on it for a couple weeks, messed around with it, got something working. But then the last time I started working on it, I just didn't stop. And the, the first version released on Steam three years ago, it's done really well. That's given me the, uh, the uh, resources to hire a team and make kind of what I wanted the original one to be, or, you know, or, what was, or make, make what's possible with this idea. Who's your favorite astronomer? Uh... Well, I like Eric, who's on, on the team. Uh, let's see. Carl Sagan's pretty cool. Uh, he's a good guy. Uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson, he's a great representative. So, yeah, the, I, I kind of think of Universe Sandbox as like an interactive cosmos. So, like, if, if cosmos were interactive and you could manipulate properties, uh, that's, you know, that's what it would be. So, like, except for them, like, the supernova explosions, like, that was, we actually used that show as kind of some reference for how maybe that should look, so, yeah. And uh, where can people find it? Yeah, so currently it's in like kind of early, early, earliest access. Um, you can get it on our website, and you what you do, you buy a Steam code that you can then activate on Steam. So you can't buy it on Steam yet, that's gonna come later, because uh, it's still pretty alpha, but uh, buy it on our website at universesandbox.com. Great, thank you very much.